Okay, we needed some assistance because we were not about to take the luggages up this bridge. It's way too long. Hello guys! So, Mohammed went out to find some snacks, something to eat as I stayed in the room to work on my vlog. It's, oh my God, it's not as easy as I thought it would be to daily vlog. It's actually almost impossible because the Wi-Fi is super weak and my cellular data is garbage. We tried calling our service provider to see if we can like speed up the internet or make it faster and we even paid extra money for it and it's still not working. So I'm working on it now because I'm a little behind and I just decided to rest for the first day that we're in Venice. Um, I'm actually really tired from yesterday and also from like the entire trip is catching up to us right now. So Mohammed and I find ourselves super tired and exhausted and we're sleeping in when we should be out and exploring. So we're giving ourselves a break. So that's what I'm doing. Just gonna rest here in my room. It's so chill, it's so comfortable and super quiet by the way. I. I was kind of afraid that the location of this hotel would be not so great because it's far away from everything, but in actuality is what I needed. I needed to be away from everything because it's so much better, it's quiet, it's more relaxing, and that way I can finish my vlog. I'm wearing this prayer rug by the way that my sister-in-law got for me. I got I received so many questions about it. I posted it on my Instagram and so many of you guys were asking about it. She actually got this for me when she was on her trip um, to Jordan recently and I love it so so much. So I'm wearing this over just to vlog because underneath I'm wearing pajamas and it's not too um, modest to show. Also my view is not so bad. I really like this. Let me show you. It's a really nice view. Here I'll show you my working area which is this little corner and this is my view which is really beautiful and relaxing so as you've seen we arrived yesterday to venice and so far this place has taken my breath away yes it's so beautiful it's like the difference between every spot we've been into in Italy and Venice <laughs> is just like, as soon as we got on the train station, we we're like, wow. We're like, yeah. subhanAllah, like, this is so nice. It's yes. so beautiful. I feel this way and I haven't even explored Venice <laughs> yet because as soon as we got here, we walked to our hotel, which is about a 10 minute walk from the train station. Yes. Um, it was, it seems like it's very close, but when you have lots of luggages and you have to go upstairs and down the stairs and yeah. Bridges, I mean, it takes forever, but today we're going to explore every corner of Venice, or at yes. least we're going to attempt to. We're going to just see what walking. Venice has to offer for, for us, and we're just going to walk around, take some pictures, yeah. and just stay out, and hopefully eat some good food, too. Yes, hopefully eat some good food. Um, our hotel breakfast was oh, amazing. Point. It was, point. wasn't it, like, by the best far one the I best? Had. Yes. The best one I had. Yes, same. I Actually, feel the same way. probably one of the best ones we've had traveling-wise. Well, Switzerland's breakfast was Switzerland awesome. Switzerland and Luxor was like and Luxor, the top Egypt. Tip. Yes, that breakfast was amazing. But this one's like a, but this a really, one's good really good third. Yeah, this, this is, is like, a really good third. And the reason why is because like it's it's a simple thing, but whenever they have like the uh, like for example like the croissants and the breads, they toast it, so it just yeah. comes out so fresh. I think that's the biggest reason. Yeah, why we I like both it. love like warm food, so the fact that they can like toast it for you is just uh it's unheard of in Rome or anywhere else we've been so far because yeah. they're like it's you, you just, just take pay, it out, grab it take, from the display. Yeah, take it as it is. Um, so it was really nice that they could warm right up for us. But the breakfast itself was amazing. So we're gonna head out now and show you guys around. Alright, so it's been a while since Mohammed had a haircut. Yes. So we were looking for a barber shop or yes. a salon where they could cut hair and yes. finally found yeah. one near our hotel. Yes. It's about a minute walking a distance. Minute walk. um, so. And what you have to do here because of COVID and everything, so he has to scan my barcode yeah. for the COVID negative test yes. result. 
and then because of that i could get a haircut yeah so that's so kind of what they go off of here he's finding a picture <laughs> I'm to, 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 to show him like the kind of haircut that he wants because it's kind of hard to like give you know explain yeah. explain what you want they don't really speak english so let me look for something here where is it my friend, I, I wanted to see if I could get something like, like this, like here, so here is short. When he took out that machine, Muhammad, and he did your sides, I was going to burst out laughing. I felt so bad for you when I saw your face expression. You were like, oh, hell no. I should have not went in with a picture. Um, <laughs> because the problem is, um, look. I think the picture messed it up even more. The only thing is, I don't know about these Batman wings he gave me. Oh here. my god, he definitely gave you Batman wings. If he would have just like, I'm gonna have to try to fix this when I go back. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't have a skill. <laughs> uh, I don't have machines. I just have like a, a booty ass razor. Oh my god. Uh, so, it doesn't look bad. Let's it just It just doesn't look. Let's go get my hat. Okay. All right, guys. So we are back in our hotel room, and Muhammad is washing up. <laughs> <laughs> or trying to fix as much as he can. Dude, that haircut costs like 35 euros, which is around 40 US dollars. I'm going to give that dude 36 and he had the audacity to say grazie. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my god. And the thing is like he didn't even finish the job. Like there was he didn't still know what the job was. He, he didn't, didn't know, know what the job yeah, was. Yeah, I, mean, I don't blame him. He we, yeah, um, it's our long, fault. It's our fault. It's a salon. Honestly. But dude, this is the only thing that <sighs> Yeah, it wasn't a barber shop, it was like a hair salon. <laughs> oh my god. It's safe to say we learned our lesson. Oh, it looks good. And no, it looks good from this side. Yeah. I don't know what he, he why he wanted to the experiment other. on both sides. Oh man, one what side. What did he do here? Oh, I don't know, baby. I don't and know. what did he do here? I don't know. I don't know. It's not even straight. But you know, <laughs> but you know what? It's fixable. Everything. Hair is fixable. grows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks good though. That looks really good. It looks good. It's okay. Fixable. Okay. Fixable. And it's fixable. Don't even... What? You got more hats? Oh! Let me see. Don't, I don't worry about it. It's I fixable. I don't know if I like... I don't know if... No, I'm because maybe. of the shoes, it won't match. But I got black, too. Do you have black? Let me see the black. It's Good thing fixable. we brought hats. It's definitely fixable. <laughs> <laughs> gondola right now this is something everyone should do when you come to Venice all right so we just finished the gondola ride and it yes. was so awesome it was it was really <laughs> nice man just to cruise around in the water oh it's so beautiful oh man okay so just to give you guys like an idea of how much a ride a gondola ride cost the guy charged us 80 euros 80 euros yeah for both of us yeah but there's this other guy that charged us 120 together yes. so definitely be cautious about you know the prices, the rates they set. Yeah. Uh, don't go with the first person. Just go and ask around just so you get an idea of how much it'll be. Also, it was about the same amount of time. Um, I know they set prices depending on like how much they show you yeah. um, and how many minutes, but we just got the basic one for 80 euros and it, it was, was nice. amazing. It was, it was 30 minutes, it flew right by. Yeah. We were enjoying it, we were taking videos. Pictures. We were so close to the water. So yeah, it was so It was beautiful. nice, we enjoyed Definitely it. Definitely something to do when you're here in yes. Venice. We stopped to get gelato. 
Mm. Did I get watermelon or chocolate or mango? Watermelon, chocolate, or mango? With the lime. Watermelon. Watermelon? So I guess yeah, Traticella, Nocella, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, so I got estratechela and nochela. Muhammad got lemon. Watermelon and lemon. Watermelon and lemon. You know, Omaya is very chocolatey. She likes Nutella, cafe. And I always get fruity flavors. Yeah. Like literally, we're opposite. Mango, strawberry. <laughs> All right, so we just got back into the hotel. Not gonna lie, it was a tiring day today. We walked so much, and alhamdulillah, we got to explore a lot of Venice. But right now we just got in. Omaya's in the bathroom washing up. We're gonna rest for a little bit and then we're probably gonna leave here in an hour or so so we can get some dinner and then just kinda relax for the rest of the night. Good morning guys. Good morning everybody. So today we have something so fun planned out. Yes. Uh, we are going to the three islands near Venice. So they're called Murano, Burano, and Torcello, something like that. Yes. Um, everybody has recommended these three places. They said if you come to Venice, you definitely have to make a day for these three places. So I'm super excited about that because we were looking at pictures and it looks so beautiful. Yes. And, and, and the best thing is it's uh, going to those three places within like a four or five hour span on mm -hmm. a tour. Yeah. Just makes it so much more uh, efficient, yeah. better, and yeah. it just because you get lost you, you don't worry about like oh where should i go what how am where, i gonna get there yeah how am i gonna get there you have somebody doing all that for you you just like follow them yep. and the good thing is that they give you time for you to be alone yes so that's what i like about tours you get to learn about the area you're in and yes. also you have your own time to explore exactly so um we're pretty much going to do that today uh i think the tour is about four to five hours yes. and it was super cheap too it was like 22 euros per person I mean we explored all day yesterday yeah there is really not a lot to do other than like you know get on the uh, gondola rides and just kind of explore sightsee mm -hmm. uh, but you gotta do this tour so I'm excited for it. So we're super excited about this and we're heading that way before yes. they leave us <laughs> yeah because we're running a little bit late which yes. is Murano. Murano and it's really really beautiful the only yes. thing is that we've been walking for 20 minutes and we only have 20 minutes left until we go back to the boat so there isn't enough time to like actually explore the town yeah the, because the as island. soon as you like dock there you know where they made us watch uh, people do like glass and shapes and stuff like that that took 10 cool. minutes it was yeah. really cool but that it took, took 10 minutes it yeah. took 10 minutes and then we wanted to walk around and there's really not a lot here so you have to keep walking for another 20 minutes and there's just time we don't have yeah so uh, just to be safe and not miss our boat we're gonna head back yeah and then inshallah we'll have more time in the next two spots hopefully to yeah. explore and the good thing is it's it's very different i mean it's similar but different when mm -hmm. it comes to the style of this city yeah um or of this of the uh, island. island yeah uh because as you see like this transportation is still boats and you know the, well, it's the, still venice so everything is i know but by... there's a place we popped into that was kind of like they were using some cars yeah um, yeah again uh so we're exploring but there's more like a, uh I, the only thing i notice here right away is that the buildings there's like lots of colors like, oh yeah like, super like yellow orange white pink yeah red so um, that's the first thing I seen when we docked so yeah it's really cool yeah I think that's mostly what these islands are known for is like the colorful buildings yeah it's way too hot so we needed something I followed your footsteps this to time. freshen up 
What? You I copied me. Your I didn't copy Yeah, first time he doesn't get anything fruity. He got chocolate, and so cookies. he copied me. back at the hotel yes. after a very long tiring day uh, yeah <laughs> i'm so tired so last time we checked in we were just getting out of the water boat yes after that we had some dinner and walked a little more and then now we're back at the hotel yes so what do you want to say about the tour ride today like what do you think it's worth um, it do you think it's not worth it okay here's the thing right yeah Pr price wise the tour is completely fine i'll give it a thumbs up for the price yeah uh five out of five it's like 20 euros and yeah. you spend four and a half hours takes you three different places price is good yes um now the amount of location and the quality you spend there is not a lot no um out of the three spots we went to i honestly only liked one um, I'm not saying the other spots are bad. I'm just saying wherever we left the dock in yeah. the other two spots, we didn't have enough time to explore. So if you do want to explore those places, it's not best to do it with the tour, with the tour. that we went to. Yeah. They're beautiful places. Yeah. We just didn't get enough chance to explore them. But the last spot, which is called Bu... I think it was uh, Burano. Burano. So the last wow. spot, Burano, that was beautiful. And as soon as we like stepped out of the boat... Yeah you get to see everything so yeah. we didn't have to like walk too far to explore the colorful uh houses the buildings um it was nice yeah it's my take on it yeah i mean i pretty much feel the same way as mo um we could have definitely like skipped on the first two places that yeah. we went to and just like stayed half a day in burano because it was so beautiful and really we nice. didn't even get the chance to explore the whole place no. because we as soon as we got there we were just like taking pictures and doing videos so we didn't really have enough time to explore around well, but nonetheless it was still a good experience just to take the tour like Mohammed said the pricing was amazing yep. and if you're in venice for more than two days definitely take the tour like yes. go go out and explore because there Venice is pretty much the same all around. Yep. It's a bunch of bridges and then the water and the gondola. I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. We love Venice so much. Yeah. But it's more like chill, laid back, romantic. You just want to relax. Um, you know, just, yeah. you know, enjoy the water. Enjoy seeing the boats around. It's really nice. Me personally, like I like it and I feel like view wise and, oh, and, and, and theme wise, it's the best one. I just prefer Rome more. Oh. Um, there's just something about Rome and just kind of like being able just to move to different places and not everything is the same. And yeah. I don't know, like I just kind of enjoyed it more. Uh, but again, it's just different. I'm, I, I like it being depends. busy. I like the cars. I like the big buildings. It's just different style, what, what I like. And then yeah. you have all the people that just really just want to sit back, relax, drink and coffee chill. and see the water. I mean, that's amazing as well. Yeah, Mo and I pretty much think the same way. We like the city life a little bit more than yeah. we like the chill, laid back places. Yep. Um, also because it's so much easier to get around when you're in the city. Like you can get yes. a taxi in like two seconds. Whereas Train here you have to wait like so long to get a water taxi and it's unbelievably expensive so it's just like i don't know and the walk i mean we just walked so much yeah we around. walked a lot i guess that's a good thing though we that's walked a, thing. a lot we walked everything we ate off yeah we, which is a good thing so we didn't feel bad about ordering you know an extra dessert or having that you know, pizza yeah we didn't feel bad because 
we pretty much Burnt walked off. like hours, hours, right? In total, yeah. In total. So yeah. uh, today was really fun. I really enjoyed it. I'm happy we took the tour. Same here. Just wanted to give you guys an idea. So now that we're back at the hotel, we're going to change, freshen up, and relax because tomorrow is our last day here in Venice. We're yes. actually leaving and we'll be traveling outside of the country. Yes, so our time here in Italy is done and yes. it was so much fun i'm so happy we did this trip i'm so yep. happy that we learned more about the other cities in italy mm -hmm. um this was a dream of mine yes. i've always wanted to like hop from one place to another so alhamdulillah we were able to do that and safely as well um but tomorrow we're leaving to another country and we're Inshallah. super excited i want you guys to start guessing where you think we're going um i can give you a hint mo has never been there I've never been there. Mo has never been there. So there you go. That's your hint. <laughs> and start guessing and comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We love you and appreciate you so, so much. And we'll see you next time. Salam. Salam.